Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Dragonite and all the love the Dragonite class is getting on the PTS right now, which may very well make this a top PvP meta class, if not the meta class. So, let's get into it. Welcome back guys and before we get into the bread and butter of today's video a huge shout out to my patrons you guys are absolutely amazing this channel would not be possible without you guys also I'm doing a PvP top 5 series still yet so I need more clips guys if you're interested in how to submit your clips please do so by following the card that's top right hand corner of your screen or in the description down below okay guys so i should have some background footage here um it, it's not really exciting stuff not gonna lie all this on the pts just kind of testing out uh, some of the dk changes but some of the main features i want to go over number one is an item trade change so they changed charge i was already a huge fan of charge to begin with so what they did they increased the potency of this trait to 480 percent to ensure it's more competitive with other traits in terms of effectiveness now Charge has always been like a niche trait just for the DK for your sustain. So the whole purpose of running a charge is so you can inflict people with status effects. Okay, so when you inflict people with status effects based on the combustion pass that we have here, you actually get resources back. So not only did they double the effectiveness of this, I'll kind of go over you know what percentage this actually is here, here in just a moment. Not only do they buff charge, but they also buff combustion. Now, a lot of people say this is kind of a nerf slash buff, but this is just straight up a nerf, guys. So here's what the new combustion passive does. It increases the resource granted from this passive to 1,000 for Magicka, uh, to Magicka and Stamina instead of just 500. So they essentially doubled it, but they added a half a second cooldown to which you could actually proc this. So before, there was no internal cooldown, and as many times as you could proc the burning or a poison effect, you would get resources back. Now, they did kind of put like a soft cap on that, but the half a second is like nothing, guys. And the set combinations I'm gonna show you in just a moment is pretty scary stuff, I'm not gonna lie. So this is just a straight up hard buff for the DK, okay? I mean, th this is absolutely massive. I did do a whole spreadsheet on this at a video at some point uh, in the past, uh, which showed you guys the difference between having a normal charge straight and not having a charge straight. So your AOE uh, spells for the DK like, like each, each spell from the DK kit has its own chance to proc burning effect. Um, burning embers procs at way more often than engulfing flames, and engulfing flames procs at way more often than talons. So I did a whole video on this. It's way back in my channel. I, I, I might include a link to it or just redo it. But essentially, uh, it, it wasn't that great. Even even with charge, uh, it wasn't that great. But now, since they doubled the effectiveness of charge, and we can take that even a step further and even double the charge trait by running Heartlands. It's pretty scary stuff, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure why I wanna show the footage in the background, but I literally have infinite mana on zero sustain. I'm running nothing but straight damage, no recovery, like no cost reduction, no nothing, okay? And I literally have an infinite magic pool. <laughs> it's, it's pretty insane. So some of the other buffs I want to talk about is the stamina whip yes there's finally a stamina whip so they changed the base skill lava whip so now this ability and its morphs now scale off your highest offensive stats rather than exclusively magicka based stats made this finally in the fiery and age-old debate over getting a stamina whip well now you guys have a stamina whip i'm pretty sure you guys are still on wrecking blow spam i mean let's be real but uh <laughs> Yeah, at least you have the options now. And another change that they did was World in Ruin. Uh, now, this passive increases your damage done with flame and poison attacks by 5% rather than increasing your damage done with area of effect flame attacks, which is like nothing. Who cares? And reducing the cost of poison abilities done by you know, 25%. So, now we're doing 5% more damage, guys. And another passive is the Battle Roar passive. They actually buffed that a little bit as well. I didn't include it in this video just because it, it's, it's very much a minor change. But the sheer ability alone to be able to proc the Burning Stats effect, you guys will see here in the background, the Burning Stats effect is proccing literally every single second. 
Now, l let me explain how broken it is. You guys may have seen my video about how broken Desert Rose was about getting a thousand uh, equivalent to getting a thousand Magicka back every second as well, based on the the proc chance of that thereof. This does the exact same thing. So if you run Heartlands with a charge trait, you are essentially getting Desert Rose five piece as an effect every single time you apply a burning effect and, and this is actually better than desert rose it has the potential to be double as effective as desert rose because you can apply the burning sass effect every half second which is going to restore 1000 of your resources so potentially you could apply it twice within a second which will give you 2000 of each resource guys that's insane DKs are going to be such a pain to deal with, so now we can push nothing but straight raw damage. Like back in the olden days when Ellie Drain used to carry. It's going to be phenomenal, guys. It, DKs have needed love for a very long time. And of course, there are other changes I didn't go over, but these are the highlights that I wanted to point out to you guys. So bust out your Dragonites, start practicing, because here in like a month, a month and a half, these changes are going to be going live i really hope they kind of keep what they're doing and from what i've heard they're actually going to be giving the dk even more love so dust out the dk get it in open world start trying to get some of these builds and theory crafting together i really think the charge trait change passive with heartlands is going to be an absolute meta for the magic dragon salmon dragonite not too sure but the way it is right now heartlands is like a hybrid set anyway so who knows guys i just kind of bring this to your attention give you something to look forward to on the dk i know dk is in a rough spot right now but all that's going to change here very very soon so hopefully you guys liked today's video if you did please like and sub it really helps the channel out a lot and if you guys like more videos like this kind of keep you up to date on uh, mag dk or any classes in particular please let me know down in the comments and i will catch you guys in the next one y'all take care